Oh, I'm sorry I didn't see you there. Welcome to Tome Fries. Welcome back to Tome Fries. I'm B, like the Bumble, and these are my friends Tomi and Paige. And together, we're here to talk about all things books. Now today, you might be wondering why I'm rocking these sweet shades, and it's because of the book that I chose to review today. So today's book is Where'd You Go, Bernadette? by Maria Semple. I did get this book from Book of the Month Club, but I didn't get it as one of my normal subscription picks. I actually got this as an add-on after hearing such cool things about it, as well as seeing the trailer for the movie starring Kate Blanchett. So since I saw it, I was like, ooh, I have to check this out. And I was pretty excited to get this book. Although it did take me a few months to actually, you know, get around to picking it up. All right, these are gonna have to come off now. The story is from the perspective of Bernadette's daughter, B, as she tries to search for her lost mom. The majority of the book is a compilation of letters, emails, notes, articles, with some intermittent narration done by B herself. And at first I was thinking, man, this could get really annoying, but Maria Semple did a really good job of piecing it all together to actually make it seem like a story. Although it kind of made it seem really unrealistic because who writes emails in complete prose with dialogue? Apparently everybody in Seattle. The plot was also really interesting and it was a different concept. And yeah, there were definitely times where I had a really hard time putting the book down. I mean, I did get a couple of nights where I didn't sleep as well because I just had to keep reading another chapter to find out what was gonna happen next. But it did feel like I was waiting and waiting and waiting to get to the point where Bernadette actually disappeared, which came much later in the story than I had expected. And it got to the point where at one point I was sitting there thinking, okay, well, is this actually a metaphor? Does she not actually disappear? But I did really like the plot. It was very unique. It was interesting. It wasn't like anything I had read before. I do have to say though, that I hated every single character in this book, which is really weird for me. Usually I like at least one of them. And yeah, at certain points I did find where I was like, okay, I can like this character. And then they would do something and I like, nope, never mind. I really wanted to like Bernadette. I mean, come on, she's played by Kate Blanchett and she's sassy, she's eccentric, she's antisocial. What's not like to like there, right? But she was actually pretty terrible of a character and a little bit xenophobic. Throughout the story, Bernadette constantly plays the victim. She avoids all responsibility for her actions and she doesn't seem to be able to feel any kind of empathy. In fact, none of the characters do. They really just go around blaming other people with only brief glimpses of any kind of self-awareness. Even B, who at first seemed like the only redeeming character, and not just because of her awesome name, turned out to be an angsty, selfish little brat whenever the focus was directed at her. Basically, Where'd You Go Bernadette is about personal growth. And of course, you do see that, but it seems oversimplified. I mean, basically what I got out of it was dolls were running around treating each other like crap until they had these like instantaneous light bulb moments of clarity, which that's not usually how personal growth works. It's usually a long process. People don't just come to the realiza realization that they're like, oh wow, I'm being a terrible human being in one instant. It was a quick read. It was really enjoyable. Like I said, I loved the plot, but the characters were so unbearable that I do have to give this one three out of five. It was an okay read, but not one that I would necessarily want to pick up again. And I kind of now don't really want to see the movie. But don't just take my word for it. Go to your local bookstore, go to your library, pick yourself up a copy, and let me know if you did love the characters. Let me know if you found it inspiring or has some other kind of opinion. Come back next time whenever I review the library book. And until then, keep on reading, Tone Fries.
Apparently getting a letter from Antarctica would be faster than getting something from China. Like who's running this mail system? And am I missing something? I mean, they have email, they have fax, they have a bandaid you stick on your head and you can like make robots do your bidding, but nobody could just pick up a phone and call or text somebody. I mean, I feel like a lot of these dilemmas would have been totally avoided and unnecessary if, you know, they just would have picked up the phone and text. 